babe welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new i'm shayla i am actually filming with a new lens i got a lens conversion like a wide angle lens for my camera and i cannot decide if i like it or not i kind of love it because i feel like i have more space like i can be closer to the camera and then the lens is like getting more space you know but i do notice that it kind of warps the edges of the frame and that kind of grinds my gears a little bit because I'm very much about the straight lines lining up, no crooked angles and like, it's kind of giving fishbowl. Anyway, I suppose I will sort that out once I edit this video and look at the footage. Hopefully it will not make me cringe. <laughs> it's been a busy morning for me over here so far and we have a very busy afternoon ahead of us. I have a workout booked at two, going to an event at the new Therabody space in the city, which should be pretty cool. And then I have dinner plans later with my girlfriend, Brooke, who I'm very excited to see. She's been traveling a whole lot. I did get to see her on Marathon Sunday, but very briefly, and I'm excited to get some one-on-one -on -one time with her tonight. And then in between that, I have some work that I need to get done. I am shooting for a brand that I use and love, and I'm very excited about Clean Canteen. They just came out with these food boxes that are actually not even launched today. But by the time you see this, they will have already launched. Same brand that makes my favorite to-go mug that I'm obsessed with. I actually partnered with them earlier this year, so I'm really excited to be working with them again. But I am so excited to create for this campaign. Just gonna do a little reel and instagram story and yeah i'm gonna see how i can manage to all get it done it's gonna be a little busy and i also need to eat something right now because i'm very hungry so i think i'm gonna wash these containers prep them for creating this content make a little lunch i'm like looking at my calendar right now and feeling like i might be overestimating how much i can actually get done today but i did wake up this morning at like level 100. i woke up so motivated and so inspired and that is so exciting because i feel like last week i don't even think i mentioned this in my last vlog but last week my shoulder was bothering me i couldn't work out really wasn't feeling like myself after a few days of just like not moving my body and not feeling, I don't know, fluid in my body. And today I woke up and I just feel way more like myself and I'm just so grateful and excited to be able to be going to a workout class. And I just woke up ready to hit the ground running. So we'll see, I'm gonna try to manage my expectations <laughs> as far as what I could get done today. Might end up having to move the content shoot to Friday, but we'll see, we'll see. In the meantime, subscribe if you're new. Happy hump day. When I say hump day, I mean, you know, Wednesday, it's the middle of the week, just in case you're not familiar with this saying. It's just the middle of the week. Happy middle of the week. Obviously did not have time to shoot the sponsored content. That's okay. I will get to it on Friday because I have another busy day tomorrow. Also, oh my gosh, it is so freaking cold out today. <laughs> I have my hand warmers. It's freezing. I feel so good after that workout, but I have to be honest, getting a smoothie probably wasn't the best idea because I am literally frozen. A little extra time before this event, so I thought we would walk to the High Line in Chelsea.
But essentially, when he developed the Theragun as the creator of the class, That was an incredibly busy afternoon, but a good afternoon. I love the new Theragun. I'll have to tell you about it later because I don't have a ton of time right now because I am touching up my makeup very, very quickly so that I can make it to dinner on time with my bestie, Brooke. I am so excited for dinner. We are going to Nami Nori, which has the best vegan sushi. It is so yummy. I know some of you might be like, Shayla, I thought you were eating fish again. I do eat fish on occasion. I really don't eat it that much though. And I'm just really not in the mood. I'm really in the mood for vegan sushi. So very excited for that. And even more excited to spend some quality time with Brooke because I freaking miss her she's been traveling so much and i'm really happy for her because she has a great job that she loves but yeah i miss her so just excited all around if you couldn't tell at this point <laughs> first floor we're freezing but we're together and we're happy but freezing, but freezing. <laughs> literally freezing i did bring my hand warmer did you want it yeah, yeah cool. i'll share <laughs> it's like holding a 90s mouse for your pc yeah. computer um but you know what it does the job <laughs> vegan sets. You don't? Well, I like your hair. Okay, don't mean to toot my own horn, but I feel like I nailed the tennis girly look. If you watched my last vlog, then you know I started taking tennis lessons. Today is my second lesson. I was feeling like I was in a bit of a pickle. P.S. Throwing it back to not the last vlog, but the vlog before. Shout out to my pickle girlies. Because part of the fun of playing tennis for me is the fashion. It is about, you know, being new at something, being bad at something, learning something new, getting out of my comfort zone, doing something active, having a hobby outside of work. But it's also fun to like, I don't know, you know, wear a cute little tennis outfit. And so I had only tennis skirts and like a tennis dress and it's way too freaking cold out for that. So I needed to come up with a new tennis fit because I just wasn't feeling like I was looking the part. And I know it's not about how you look, but I feel like when you look the part and you feel good and you like the way you look, you feel like your effort level just increases, you feel more confident and life is just better. That's my personal opinion. It is what it is. Have my little Lululemon zip up jacket, which just fits like a glove. We're Wearing my Lululemon bra and leggings that I showed you in that vlog. I think I'm gonna do my new little aloe puffer that I got too because it is chilly outside, but it's not as cold today as it was yesterday. Wow, yesterday was freezing cold. So tennis lesson first, and then I'm getting my nails done finally, which is good news because my nails are looking not great. <laughs> but I need to decide what color I wanna do. I can't decide if I wanna do like a French, but with brown maybe, could be kind of fun for Thanksgiving. Or this green is really pretty, or I could just go a solid red. I can't decide. And I think I'll actually post a story on my Instagram and let people vote. Okay, it's been posted, nail color to be determined. We will bring the polish colors with me. Bring in my book too, just in case for my nail appointment.
That was so much fun. I really, really, really like that instructor. Last week, as I said, was my first lesson. Well, it's actually like a tennis clinic, so there's multiple people in the lesson. And so, yeah, last week I did one with a different instructor who was also great, but it was just a flat out beginner beginner. And then today was an advanced beginner and I wasn't sure how hard it was gonna be. It was very challenging but I really like this one because we played a lot more and I feel like I hit a lot more balls. So, so, so fun. I am absolutely loving tennis. What a great way to start the day. I have like an hour before my nail appointment. So I think I'm going to take myself out on a little solo lunch. ready for Brooklinen's holiday soiree party. It's at the Soho Grand Hotel. I'm very excited. I love going to Brooklinen's get togethers, influencer events, parties. They're one of my favorite brands that I work with and they really know how to throw a party. And I'm actually bringing my boyfriend as my plus one, which would be really fun because he's never gone to an influencer event, like work party with me. So I'm excited for that. We're gonna go to that at the Soho Grand Hotel. And then he made reservations somewhere for us to grab a bite to eat after and then we are going to a late night comedy show at the comedy cellar i've actually never been to the comedy cellar and yeah i think this will be a really fun night we too see my little outfit that i'm wearing from revolve it's really cute and i feel like it goes along with the vibe of my nails which i will show you in a moment i'm kind of rushing to get ready if you couldn't tell obsessed with my nails fall inspired french absolutely love them We've left the Brooklyn event, which was less like an event and more like Not much. a party. <laughs> we love Brooklyn, in, but yeah, it was it was just basically like a, a mixer, a cocktail mixer. But uh, very lovely nonetheless, and we are going to dinner at Little Prince. Last night was so much fun. Oh my gosh. And I need to give you a full debrief, but I can't right now. I really want to take a shower, like the shower. I need to do a little self-care. And I actually think I'm going to bathe the dogs because they are way overdue for a bath. And I just feel like let's just multitask. We'll all get in the shower and do it all at the same time. Why not? Also, no judgment, please. Okay. But I did order some juices from Juice Generation. It's raining outside. It's very gloomy and... I feel like we just need to have a cozy day inside. So I ordered a big celery juice. I'll have half now and half tomorrow. And I also ordered a fresh orange juice, which I normally don't do, but I feel like I need some sugar this morning. I'm not hungover, over, but I'm definitely tired because it ended up being a pretty late night. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to tell you about our night, specifically about the comedy cellar. O-M-G, but more on that in a moment. Because first things first, time for some self-care. Bathing the dogs is such a project. I still need to blow dry them, but I just wanted to show you what I am putting in my hair. I'm doing this K18 leave-in. So basically you shampoo, no conditioner, and then you start with three pumps. And then I saw that you're supposed to rub it in your hands until it turns white. 
before applying and then you just run it through your hair. I'm gonna let my hair air dry. That is the current situation. Now it's time to tackle blow drying the dog's hair. I cannot even tell you how sore my right arm is. <laughs> Particularly my forearm from tennis yesterday. It's sore in a good way, because obviously I was working hard. I'm using muscles I don't normally use, but oh my gosh. So I thought maybe I would use my new little Theragun sense on it. My legs could use a little love too, if I'm being honest, because those boots that I wore last night, they started out comfortable, but after a night of walking, my calves and legs are so sore. Anyway, enough complaining. Also, I feel like I never got a chance to tell you about the Theragun sense. It's very, very cool. Particularly, it has this little screen on it. The cool thing about this one is that it has different time settings for different routines. So there's like a breath work, routine, sleep routine, lower body, stress relief, upper body, and it's timed and it shows you what body parts and tells you for how long to use the Theragun on it. And I just think that that's so cool. So absolutely obsessed with this. Oh, oh my gosh. Although I feel like this might be slightly distracting for me at least while I try to tell you about my night last night because it was so Fun. Also, by the way, the dogs are all clean, which is such a relief. They look so cute. Also, it's Yule log season. It's Yule log season. I can't believe it. It's November 10th. Like, how did that even happen? Also, you know what's so crazy? I'm gonna have to do this later. I can't concentrate. You know what's crazy is that this time two years ago, I was visiting New York for the very first time. And now I've lived here for a year and a half. What a crazy, wild couple years it's been. Wild and crazy in the best way possible. But yeah, I'm just feeling so grateful. Last night, was so, so fun. It ended up being kind of a chaotic afternoon and evening. I somehow always do this. I feel like I give myself enough time to get ready. And then at some point I feel like I've given myself too much time. So I start to do extra things and then I run out of time. So I was in a massive rush to get ready and I didn't even get to show you my outfit, like my full outfit, which I loved. It's this set that I got from Revolve. I will pop a picture of me in it from last night here. It's this really cute jacket and matching skirt set. Although there's like fringe on the back of this and I, I hate it. So I think I'm going to cut the fringe off. That's for another moment, but that is why I wasn't able to show you my full little outfit, which I was kind of bummed out about. And then I thought, well, that's fine. I assumed that this Brooklyn event would be like the one that I went to over the summer with Brooke and that there would be good lighting and lots of space for me to show you my little outfit. But it was nothing like the last Brooklyn event that I went to. It was more of just like a cocktail party, which is totally fine. It just wasn't what I was expecting, but still fun nonetheless. And so fun to have my boyfriend there with me. We always have so much fun. And the Soho Grand Hotel is so, so 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 pretty so i'm glad i got to go to that also i love a live jazz band love live music and then dinner at little prince was so nice then we went to comedy cellar as you know and we had the best time like the best time every single comic was so amazing it was kind of a late show because we got there at 10 45 the show didn't start to 11 but it was totally worth it because i quite literally did not stop laughing the entire time and we got surprised by Kevin Hart coming in. It was so amazing. He is and was hysterical last night. Like such a fun surprise. My boyfriend and I just like had the best time and it just felt like one of those New York City nights that I would daydream about and like future journal about and it just was filled with so many different fun things that I love and just getting to spend time with my boyfriend is so special and I'm just yeah, I'm just really happy. I just love my life here in New York. I feel very, very lucky and grateful. I also just like cannot believe that Kevin Hart showed up. And my boyfriend said that he's been to numerous comedy shows there. And he was like, that is the best one I've ever been to. I cannot even explain how good this feels. Oh my gosh. I feel like this would be the perfect jacket if I can get rid of this fringe. Let's just do one and see what happens. I feel like it looks fine. Yes, it's happening. I feel like you can't even tell. Some of you might really like the fringe. I just was really looking for a jacket exactly like this, been on my mind, but no fringe. So sometimes you just have to customize things, you know? <laughs> it is such a cute set though. I got so many compliments on it last night. I actually really wanted to do this last night, but I did not have time. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna make you watch me do this. This is not very entertaining or exciting. 
I will finish that in a moment. In the meantime, I got a little package from pharmacy and I thought I would open it with you. It is a PR package, so I don't really know what's in there, but I use their cleansing balm to remove my makeup. Had to move over here because Bali always tries to steal these things. <laughs> Honey Halo moisturizer. Oh, you know what? I feel like I've used, maybe not this exact one, but I've used a version of this before. It actually might be the same one that I used before. I did really, really love this. If it is the same one, I've used this before and I really like it. I was just gonna say that it's soup season, but between you and I, I, I love soup. So in my opinion, every season is soup season. I feel like making a little veggie soup is the perfect late afternoon activity. I'm gonna do broccoli, celery, carrots, zucchini, potatoes, onion, garlic, and cabbage. And then this is what I use for the veggie broth. You just mix this with water. It's vegan bouillon and it is amazing. I'll obviously season it as well with salt and pepper and garlic powder, but this vegan bouillon really just makes it. I've made a version of this veggie soup before on my channel at least a dozen times. And I always get asked what the recipe is, but there's really no recipe. It's so, so simple. You can just use any veggies that you have. I always add garlic and onion for flavor. And then I use this vegan bouillon. If you eat meat, you could add meat into it. I am not a meat eater, so I just do mine with veggies. Sometimes I'll add rice. You can also add noodles if you want noodles. It's just such an easy, simple soup and it's really customizable, which is great. Fixed my jacket, guys. Feeling really good about it. Much better. Got them all off and I feel like it looks so good and I'm so excited. Very happy with that. And my soup smells amazing. Also, am I about to like spend another Friday night at home? I think I might. I think this is like my new thing, guys. Oh, I'm not mad about it. Look, I'm not complaining. I feel like tonight just needs to be a cozy night in. Get cozy, have my soup, get a good night's rest because I'm gonna get up early tomorrow and shoot that content that I was talking about at the beginning of this vlog. I did prep for the shoot and I know what's happening. And once I get to the location, I think it'll all go pretty smoothly, but I actually need to do the filming of the content. I was honestly gonna shoot it today, but the weather was just absolute <laughs> Pardon my French. And so yeah, we're postponing it to tomorrow and I will just work on the weekend. Why not? I also have a coaching call for the Yoga Inspired Life program on Sunday. So we'll just make it a work weekend. I've been trying to work less on the weekends and cultivate better work-life balance, but since I am working on a Saturday and tomorrow because I have a coaching call for the Yoga Inspired Life program, I thought I would treat myself to a little coffee and pastry this morning. You know, like a little, little pick-me-up, a little bribery <laughs> to have a productive day. It just makes the day feel a little bit more special. and we're off to film the rest on location. It is four o'clock. Content has been filmed. Feeling very good about that. That was a very productive day. And now I just need to edit it. Love that. Thought I would have a little bit of soup. 
for a very late lunch because all I had today was the muffin I got this morning. And I literally cannot stand that I do that. And by that, I mean put off having lunch until I'm like, ridiculously hungry, but sometimes I just get in the creative zone and I can't think of anything else other than what I'm doing. <laughs> But that is something that I want to work on this week. Be more regular and intentional with my meals because you need food. You can't be creative. You can't do your, your best work. You can't be your best self if you're not nourishing your body. And I know that. I know that. But you know, sometimes it's hard to put into practice the things that we know. And on that note, I, I don't want to say goodbye to you, but I think I'm going to because I'm not going to be doing anything else exciting other than editing this vlog and the sponsored content I just filmed. And I have an exciting call tomorrow, but nothing exciting for you to watch. So I am going to end this vlog here, but I love you. Subscribe if you're new. Have an amazing rest of your day or night whenever you're watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!